Namaste and welcome back to the Asana Sena Yoga Studio. My name is Sena and tonight we are here for our Hatha Yoga, our PM Hatha Yoga class, which is slightly different from our morning Hatha Yoga, which is more focused on waking up the body. This particular class is more focused on cooling us down, releasing the stress from our busy day, just getting us nice and prepared for bedtime. So as always, let's get here started, find ourselves seated on the mat. And today we're going to come into a little bit of a different seat. Instead of our easy seat, let's come and spot a Kanasana or Cobbler's Pose, Butterfly Pose. Just place the soles of your feet together, right together, leaving those feet to butterfly out there. Let's go ahead and rub those knees a little bit here. We're just going to take a few moments, taking a deep breath. Let's in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do a few of these here as we bob our knees. Maybe spreading the flesh of the sits bones to the side so you can feel properly supported. One more breath into the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent. And with that last exhale, let's find ourselves slowing our knees, becoming grounded in class here. Let's switch our breathing to out through our nose if we can, if that's within our practice today. We're just going to flutter the eyes softly shut here. Let the hands rest where they may. We're just going to think a little bit about our intentions before we start class. As always, I'll share with you my intentions for class. I intend to bring you through a pretty fun um, asana practice, and I hope you enjoy it here in our Hatha class. And I would like to invite you to give a moment to think about your own intention, if you'd like to set any. Excellent. Now with our intention set, let's clap our hands three times in front of our face. Rub those hands together. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. As you exhale, let's send those hands up overhead, stretching the arms, bringing them down into prayer pose. Wonderful. Namaste to you and to everyone. Let's get started with our warm up. And if you haven't already, let's find ourselves separating the flesh of our sits bones so we're nice and level here on the mat. Let's go ahead and place your hands wherever they may. Let's just start by gently warming up our neck by sliding our head back and forth, saying no. Excellent. Ever so often, just see if you can get a little bit wider there with each turn of the head. Let's slow ourselves down, coming to center, and begin to nod yes. Excellent. Let's bring ourselves back to stillness here and just slowly inhale the head coming to the left up, looking up, exhaling, looking down to the right. Let's do that a couple more times here. Excellent. Let's slow that down to center and let's go the opposite direction. Wonderful. Let's do one last rotation here, bringing our head to stillness, coming to the center. Let's inhale those hands up to the sky. Exhale as we bring our arms to a T. Let's drop that right ear to the right shoulder, dropping the left arm at a 45 degree angle, using the right palm as kind of a counterbalance to stretch out our, our shoulder here. Breathing into this deep neck stretch. Let's hold here for five breaths. And after our last exhale, let's inhale, bringing the head up to center now, turning our face to face the right. Let's drop that chin down to our chest, stretching out the left backside here. Make sure you're keeping your arm, your left arm in a 45 degree angle. Let's breathe here for four more breaths. Excellent. 
And after our last exhale, let's bring our head up to center, arms back to a T. Let's drop that left ear this time to the left shoulder, dropping our right arm to 45 degrees, using our left hand as a counterbalance. Breathe here, five breaths. Make sure we're keeping our shoulder down from our ear. Let's inhale, bringing our head up to center, turning to face the left, dropping that chin this time to the chest, stretching out the back of the, of the neck there on the right side. Take our last breath here, and as we exhale, let's release our head, bringing our arms, coming back to neutral, rolling out the shoulders, placing your hands wherever they may. Let's start with those shoulder roll-ups here. Just breathing in, up, and back. Keep rolling the shoulders as we slow down. Let's roll it the opposite direction, back and forward. Let's bring it to stillness as we inhale those hands up to the sky. Let's exhale, bringing the right hand to the front as we hug ourselves, maybe turning our face over to the right here, stretching out that arm. Let's take one more exhale as we wrap our arm around the back of our bodies here, grabbing that right wrist with the left arm, dropping our left ear to our left shoulder, stretching out here, breathing into the deep pull. Let's release with an exhale, inhale those hands up overhead as we drop the right arm down the back with an exhale using our left hand here, pulling that right arm down the back. Let's exhale to release as we send the left arm around the front here. Taking an inhale as we adjust ourselves, wrapping that hand around our, our, our chest here in a hug. Let's exhale, facing to the left, stretching out that arm. And let's inhale, bringing that arm around the back this time, catching it with the right, gently tugging as we drop our right ear to our right shoulder, exhaling, coming into that stretch. Make sure we're not rolling ourselves forward, keeping that right shoulder down from the ear. Take our last breath here, and as we exhale, send the arms up overhead, dropping that left arm behind the back. One more inhale as we exhale, pulling that left arm over, and stretching out the rest of that arm here. Excellent. Let's inhale, exhale to release, bringing the hands to the side of the mat. Inhale those hands up one more time as we turn to the right, exhaling, dropping, looking over that right shoulder. See if we can twist a little deeper with each exhale. Let's inhale the hands up into the sky. Exhale as we turn to the left, dropping the arms, coming into our seated twist. Excellent. Let's exhale and release. Finding ourselves coming into standing here. Easy and gentle as you like. Okay. 
And before we get started, we're gonna face broad side of the mat here. So that the long side of the mat, we're just gonna face each other forward. Let's get into alignment really quick and I'll turn to the side so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's keep our feet, show, or excuse me, hip width apart here. You can either do that by kind of eyeballing it with your hands or using your fist as a little general guide here. Rolling up, let's make sure our knees are nice and loose as they hang out over the ankles there. Let's tilt that pelvis and then a nice neutral tilt. Remember your pelvis is a bowl and you don't want to spill it. Let's roll those shoulders up and back, which sends the chest forward, but that's okay. Let's just close those ribs as we keep them focused and centered over our hip blades. From here, you wanna keep your ears over your shoulders and keep your news, your news, your view gazing neutrally forward when your chin is parallel to the mat. All right, starting here, looking at each other. Let's inhale, sending the arms up to the sky, placing the hands in prayer pose. Let's exhale as we drop our body over to the right side, stretching out that right side body. Inhale, sending ourselves up, exhale, dropping, just bending the torso over, keeping the hips straight. Let's inhale, separating the hands as we take a step to the left. Exhale, coming down into our goddess pose. Let's straighten those hands as we come up into our star pose on an inhale. Let's turn our foot to face the right. Exhale, sending our bodies over, coming into our triangle pose. And if you need a block, please go ahead and use one. Let's inhale, turning ourselves to face the right, fixing the leg stance if we need to, half flat back. Exhaling, coming down, head to knee or pyramid pose. Let's inhale, placing the hands flat on the mat, exhaling as we take a step back, coming into our first lunge. Let's drop that left knee here, coming into our low lunge. If you'd like, you can go ahead and keep yourself up, coming into our crescent lunge, or you can keep your hands on the mat in dragon pose. Let's inhale, curling those left toes, exhale, straightening that leg as we turn to face the front, dropping ourselves to the right side, peeling that left foot off of the mat, coming into our skandasana on the right. Let's inhale, placing that hand down, those hands down on the mat, placing both feet down. Let's heel toe in as we're in our halfway forward fold, pointing our toes out. Let's exhale, come down on the mat here into malasana. Holding here for a moment, let's exhale, placing the hands back on the mat, sending the hips up, drop ourselves over to the left side this time, slowly peel those right foot, feet off the mat, coming into skandasana. Doing great, let's inhale, turn ourselves over to the left. Let's drop that left knee, or that right knee, excuse me, to the mat. Exhale, coming up either into our crescent pose or a dragon pose. Let's curl those right toes as we straighten out that right leg. Exhale as we step to place our footing half back, adjusting our feet. Exhale, coming down, pyramid pose. Let's inhale as we take a step back, turning that right foot out, exhaling, twisting our body up to the sky, sending that right hand up, pyramid pose. Inhale as we come up, turning our body, standing up to our five-figure star, exhale, coming into goddess. Inhale, bringing the hands back together, prayer pose. Excellent, let's do that once more. Let's start our hands here in prayer, inhale, sending them up to the sky. Let's exhale, drop to the left this time. Inhale, bringing ourselves up to center, dropping over to the right, keeping those hips in space. Let's inhale, this time we're gonna step to the right side, opening up into our goddess pose. Let's inhale, coming into our five-pointed star as we turn our left foot out to face the left. Exhale, coming into a pyramid pose. I just like to go the other direction. <laughs> Let's inhale, turning that right foot to face the left, same way as the left, fixing our feet. Halfway forward fold, exhale, coming down into our pyramid pose. Let's take an inhale. If we need to straighten out our feet, exhale. Let's see if we can keep our right leg up this time, coming into our low crescent lunge here. Let's inhale, placing our hands on the mat. Let's take a turn towards the front, dropping the left, peeling the toe, coming up into skandasana on the left. Inhale, sending the hips up to the sky. Let's heel toe till we come on into our comfortable malasana position as we exhale. Let's inhale, dropping our, sending our hips up, stretching the feet out, exhaling, coming into our skandasana on the right. Let's inhale as we send those hips over once more. It's turning to the right. Let's send out that left leg this time. Inhale, coming up, crescent lunge. Let's straighten out that front leg, shortening up our stance, coming halfway to adjust our feet. Halfway pyramid pose here. 
Let's inhale, stepping that left foot back, placing the right hand on the inside of the right foot, turning upward to face the sky, triangle pose. Let's inhale, sending ourselves up and forward. Exhale, coming into our goddess pose. Five-pointed star, let's end here with our hands in prayer. Very good. Excellent. Let's get started. Let's find ourselves seated once more. And this flow is going to work on our confidence. So this is a little bit more focused on a core flow, but we're going to try to keep ourselves thinking bright, confident thoughts here. Let's get ourselves into our Sukhasana. So however you like to be seated, make sure you put the other foot on top. So I always put my right on the bottom. Spread out the flesh of the sit bones, just as we did before. And in this pose, let's hold our fingers into the sun mudra, or, the, uh, or into our sun mudra, which is just taking our ring finger and holding it down with our thumb. Placing the hands down in our knees. Let's take an inhale through the nose. Exhale. Let's think about our posture just for a moment. Let's slide ourselves back so we can find ourselves directly over our sits bones. Inhale the shoulders up and back rolling them down, bringing the ribs right over the hip bones. Let's keep our core pulled in nice and tight here as we activate our sun, our sacral chakra, or solar plexus chakra with our hands in sun mudra. Breathe into your chakra as we hold here for five breaths. Make sure your ears are directly over your shoulders, keeping the chin parallel to the ground. Two more breaths. And after our last exhale, let's release our hands from our mudra. Let's find ourselves bringing our right foot to the mat or to the floor here, pulling that left knee or left ankle over just a little bit so that our left knee is right in the middle. Let's help our left, our right foot over. Coming into these twisted legs, we're gonna come into our Lord of the Fishes pose, Guru to legs. So inhale the hands up to the sky. We're gonna turn ourselves to the right, exhaling, keeping our hand, our right hand up to the sky, bringing our left hand behind the back, clasping the left hip, if you will. Exhaling, let's hold here for five breaths. Keep your right hip on the mat, dropping the shoulders down as you release, release the back, holding yourself here, three more breaths. And after our last exhale, let's send those arms up into the air, turning our torso and head at the same time. Let's find ourselves exhaling as we bring our hands to the mat. Let's help our legs to the other side, switching around so that we may get an equal twist. This time, placing the right leg on the mat or whichever leg was on the on top, on the bottom. Using the, your hands here, help your other leg along to the top, keeping the, everything together. Keep that foot up into the sky, that knee up into the sky, which is very essential to our twist. Let's inhale the hands up. This time, we're going to turn to the left, using that elbow to interlock with the knee. Let's drop our arm down grabbing our right hip, breathing into the Lord of the Fishes on the right. And do keep that left hip on the mat. Three more breaths. And after our last exhale, let's send those arms up into the sky with an inhale, turning to the front. Exhale as we drop our hands on the mat, finding our legs out of that binding pose. Let's pull ourselves into our tabletop pose here. And we have the same prompts as before. Let's keep our knees hip width apart, easily measuring that with either your hand or your hips, just eyeballing it. Let's keep our hands underneath our shoulders here and the inside of our elbows pointed out. So them nice and engaged. Let's slowly inhale as we keep ourselves focused at the edge of our mat here. We're going to extend our right leg out. And with this, we're just going to hold ourselves here to get our balance. And once we find we have our balance here, let's shift our weight over to the right side and send the left arm out in front. 
Now, this is our variation of a tiger pose. And if you feel like this is where you are tonight in your practice, that's great. Keep it right here. If you'd like to extend your practice, go ahead and inhale that leg up, bending the knee, holding here. Let's get this nice balance going. However you like to take your tiger pose, let's hold here for five breaths, making sure we flex that foot if you are holding it up. Breathe deep into that belly, holding that core nice and tight. We have four more breaths. Last breath, let's inhale, holding it tight. Exhale, slowly lower your hand, slowly lower your knee back to the mat. Let's find ourselves coming back up into our kneeling here. Looking straight forward, we're going to come into a gentle camel extending the other direction. To come into your camel, roll the shoulders up and back. Don't send the hips forward. Rolling from the shoulders, opening up the chest. You may hang out here if this is what you've got in your practice today. You may also expand a little further coming down onto blocks, or you may go down into your ankles. However you take your camel, let's hold here, dropping the head, releasing tension. Five breaths. Let's take one last breath in this pose. And as we exhale, let's find ourselves coming back into kneeling on the mat, however you were in your variation of tiger pose before. Holding here for a moment, let's find ourselves coming back into our tabletop as we now go into our tiger pose on the left side. So let's extend out the left leg this time, getting ourselves nice and stable, keeping that foot bent if you'd like. Inhale, let's bring up the right arm this time, sending it straight out in front of us. Helps if you keep your thumb up like that. Find your balance here as you inhale, bringing yourself into your variation of tiger. I'm going to take the full extension, but remember, keep your leg down if that is within your practice this evening. Let's breathe here, keeping our hips squared to the mat. We have four more breaths in this pose. Holding here, holding that core tight, helping with the ever so gentle tremors that come along with this balancing pose. Gonna hold here three more breaths. <laughs> and with our last breath, let's exhale, bringing on the knee and the leg, everything down ever so slowly, keeping ourselves nice and controlled. Taking an inhale, let's walk the hands forward as we exhale, dropping the chest, coming into our puppy pose. Oh, let's hold here for five breaths. Doing great, everyone. Keep holding, just a quick orb check. Three more breaths. And after our last breath here, let's find our hands. Let's slide our hands a little bit closer to our head. We're still on our forearms here. Let's curl our toes. And as we exhale, let's see if we can lift our bottoms without coming up off of the mat from the chest and then straightening out the arms coming into our downward dog. Let's just hold here as we drop our chest, sending our belly to our knee. And if you need to bend your knees, go right ahead, pushing through the palms, dropping the chest, holding here for five breaths. Remember to pull in your core, keep your core active and engaged here. Three more breaths. Excellent. Let's find ourselves coming to stillness here. Let's move that left foot a little bit to the center. Inhale that right foot up into the sky, coming into our three-legged dog. Let's exhale as we drop our foot between our hands, adjusting the feet if necessary. Let's inhale, sending our arms up to the sky, <laughs> dropping that back foot. Let's exhale as we come into our high crescent lunge here. Just a few keys. Make sure we keep, if you can, keep that foot straight in the back, keeping that leg straight. Bending the front knee ever so slightly, but make sure we don't track over our toes. Keep breathing here. We're going to hold here for three more breaths. And 
And after this third breath, let's start to twist ourselves, facing the left hand side, keeping those hips squared to the mat, bringing the hands down to a T, exhaling, coming into our twisted warrior one. Keep those arms, those feet facing the opposite direction here as we twist. Let's just hold here for three breaths. Let's inhale those hands up. As we twist, keep going. As we exhale, we're going to twist all the way to the other direction, looking out to the right this time. Arms coming out to a tweet. T. Hold a hold here for three breaths. You guys are doing great. Let's inhale, bringing our arms up as we twist to the front. Let's start to straighten out our legs here, shortening up our stance. We're going to come into our warrior three here variation. So we're going to use our hands as a counterbalance to help kind of pull us down, keeping ourselves balanced here. So let's inhale as we slowly shift our weight onto that right foot. As we begin to come to center, exhale, sending those hands to the back, squaring up the hips, keeping them towards the mat, flexing that back foot. Let's come into our flying warrior three variation here, sending ourselves forward, gazing at the top of the mat for help for balance, keeping those hips squared to the facing the mat here. Let's hold here for three more breaths. And it's all right if you lose your balance, just find yourself back in. Let's take one last inhale. And as we exhale, let's find ourselves dropping our foot, sending our arms up into the air here. And I'm just going to turn to face you guys as we're going to come into our crescent lunge on the other side here. So you may just switch your legs or turn to face the other way. Let's inhale, sending that left foot out this time, bending that right knee. And exhaling as we send our arms up into the sky, coming into our crescent lunge. I'm a little less flexible on this side, so if you notice, my heel doesn't quite touch, but that's all right. Keep breathing into this pose, holding here for five breaths. Keeping your shoulders down from your ear. Let's make sure we keep our pelvis in that neutral tilt, keeping our hips squared forward. Three more breaths. Let's take one inhale after this exhale here. And as we exhale, let's slowly turn to face the left, dropping the hands to a T, coming into our warrior one twist. Let's hold here for three breaths, keeping those hips squared to the front before you here. Taking our last inhale, let's send those arms up. And as we exhale, slowly turn the whole body, head included, going to the left, dropping the hands, coming into a T, warrior twist. Let's hold here for three breaths. After our last exhale, let's inhale as we send our hands up, straightening the legs, turning to the front here. Let's adjust our, our feet, exhaling as needed, finding ourselves in the straight legs. Let's inhale one more time as we start to shift forward, begin to exhale, sending the arms back, coming into our variation of Flying Warrior Three here. Remember to keep your foot turned and flexed towards the mat. If you'd like, you can go ahead and drop your feet as well, or you can even use a block to help your balance. Coming into our Warrior Three. Let's keep holding here for three breaths. And no worries if you drop out of the asana, get right back in. Ooh. Let's take an inhale. And as we exhale, let's slowly lower our foot, sending our arms up into the sky, turning to face the front. Let's cross our hands in front of us, <laughs> exhaling, coming into prayer pose. Excellent. Let's give our legs a little bit of a moment here. Let's just move back and forth. A lot of uh, lunge poses there. Let's go ahead and begin to 
loosen up the thighs by just gently lifting up the knee. Let's hold still for just a moment, bringing the foot, the right foot off the mat, maybe turning the ankle to the right, turn to the left, switch to the other side, same thing. Excellent. Let's take a little bit of a wider step, just slightly more than, uh, than hip distance. Inhale those hands up to the sky. Exhale, let's bend forward here. We're just gonna grab our toes with our peace fingers or stick, um, grab our ankles. Let's take an inhale as we turn our feet out to the sky, out here. Exhale, dropping into our malasana. Let's keep it moving here just a little bit to stretch the legs the other direction. Excellent. Let's find ourselves coming into stillness here. Let's inhale, sending the hips up to the sky. Let's turn our feet to the up forward here. Exhale as we just drop our head. Let's come into our wide forward fold here. Just holding on. Go ahead and grab your elbows here. Let's just hold this variation. Have a wide legged fold rag doll. Let's breathe here. Holding here for five breaths. Excellent. Let's find our hands on the mat here. Let's heel toe our feet together as we come into our forward fold. Let's take a deep breath in this forward fold here. Exhale as you find our hips lowering to the mat. Let's find ourselves coming into a side laying position as we make our way into our side plank. Now we're going to do a full extended side plank here and if you'd like you can keep that knee down the right knee right over the right hand and remember you want to keep your shoulder or your wrist directly under your shoulder and your elbows facing forward. You can keep that knee down as you come into your side plank. If not, you may fully extend coming up into your side plank here. So let's everyone get into positioning. Let's take a deep breath. And as we exhale, find your side plank of choice. Keeping the hips dropped, let's hold our side plank. Whoop, five breaths. And with our last breath, let's exhale as we turn ourselves facing forward, keeping our hands straight. Let's keep ourselves in our plank here. And then you may drop your knees down if you'd like. We're just going to hold here for five breaths, gazing at the top of the mat here, short style. So breathing in, keeping our shoulders down from our ears. Let's hold our plank. Five breaths. Holding the core tight, engaging the core makes it a little easier. Two more breaths. Excellent. Exhale, drop the knees, however you are in your, are in your planks. Let's find ourselves coming to the other side so we can complete our side plank. I'm just going to turn to face you, but you may just roll to the side as you are listening to me. Getting into our side plank of choice here, I'm going to fully extend the arms. Let's Inhale, extending the arms as we turn to face the front, exhaling, coming into our side plank here on the left. Keep breathing. Five breaths. And turning your face up to the sky if that is within your power or if within your practice. Three more breaths. Excellent. Let's exhale, turning to face the front. Let's drop those knees wide. Taking a deep breath. Let's exhale as we send ourselves down into child's pose. Oof. <sighs> drop our head to the mat. Let's breathe here. Five breaths.
And after our last exhale, let's inhale. Threatening ourselves onto our bottoms. Feet flat on the mat here. Let me go ahead and move these blocks out of the way. And we're going to come into our reverse plank pose. So finding our hands next to our hips here. Let's extend the legs out, or I like to extend them after I fully come up into our plank. But we're gonna keep our weight situated on our hands and on our heels. Let's inhale, rolling the hips off of the mat, dropping the ear, shoulders from the ears, dropping the head back. Let's exhale, keeping the bottom up, coming into our reverse plank. Keep your core tight as you breathe. We have four more breaths. And as we take our last inhale, let's exhale, slowly dropping our hips to the mat. Let's find ourselves rolling forward, bringing our hands up to the sky. Let's take one deep inhale as we exhale, bending forward from the hip, grabbing the ankles, breathing into our caterpillar pose. Let's hold here for five breaths. Take our last inhale. As we exhale, let's find ourselves exhaling back into seated. Excellent. Now let's bend our knees, placing our feet on the mat here, spreading out the flesh of the sits bones, taking a moment to get comfortable. We're going to come into our boat pose next, and there are many variations. If this is in your practice this evening, you may just leave your hands down, bringing your arms parallel to the mat, holding yourself up nice and tall as if someone's pulling a string from your head, coming to your boat pose. You may fully, you may extend into a bent knee boat pose if you'd like, or if you want, you can go into a full extension. I think this evening I'll keep my feet on the mat. So let's inhale, bringing the hands parallel to the mat, stretching up our spine as if we are being pulled up by a string. Let's exhale, settling into our boat pose of choice. Let's hold here for five breaths. And after our last breath, let's exhale, releasing the pose, bringing our feet down to the mat, holding our hands on the mat here for a moment. Just getting our bearings. Excellent. Find ourselves coming onto our belly as we turn around, laying face first on the mat here. Let's get ourselves nice and positioned. We're going to come into our bow pose. For our bow pose this evening, you may just hold your legs up, hold your arms up, coming into our bow pose, or you may grab your ankles, however you'd like this evening. However you'd like to take your bow, let's get nice and situated as we inhale, let's exhale, assuming the position here, dropping the shoulders, keeping the chest nice and open, flexing the feet if you're holding it yourself at the ankles. Let's hold here for five breaths. And as we exhale, let's release our hands and our feet, if you're holding them, releasing our legs back down to the mat. Let's find our hands stacked palm over palm underneath our head. Let's take an inhale as we exhale, releasing ourselves down, coming into crocodile pose. Let's hold here for five breaths. And remember to keep your body engaged. Keep your feet, toes pointed, your shoulders down from your ears. Keeping ourselves breathing here. Core engaged, holding in this restful pose. Excellent. After our last exhale, find yourselves rolling over and let's come into flat back on the mat here. Let's 
get ourselves nice and situated. As we inhale, let's bring the right knee up into the chest. Exhale, dropping it over, coming down to the left side, coming into that lying twist. Excellent. Inhale, sending that knee up into the sky once more. Let's exhale as we drop it over to the right side, coming into a recline tree. Excellent. Let's find that left foot coming to the mat as we place our right knee on that left knee. Inhale, bringing our knees up, relaxing into our reclining pigeon. Let's just hold here, breathing through. Let's release our legs, finding them both laying flat on the mat. Let's send our right knee into our, our right <laughs> left knee into our chest with an exhale, twisting over to the right side, coming to our lying leg twist. <clears throat> Inhale, bringing that knee to the center here. As we exhale, drop the knee over to the left, coming into our recline tree. And after our last exhale, let's bring our right foot sole to the, the mat here as we send our left ankle to that right knee. Let's inhale those knees up, coming into our figure four stretch or reclining pigeon. After this last exhale, let's release our feet and our legs coming down to the mat here. Let's inhale the hands up and over, stretching the body one last time. As we exhale, let's release the hands down to the side, dropping the feet open, keeping our head on our occipital bone as we come into our Shavasana. Let's take a deep inhale through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. And if you haven't already, go ahead and softly flutter your eyes shut.
And before we come out of our Shavasana this evening, I'd like to read from you from the Daily Stoic. Today's reading is on rejecting tantalizing gifts. It reads, Atreus asking Theistes, who would reject the flood of fortune's gifts? Anyone who has experienced how easily they flowed back. Theistes is one of Seneca's darkest and most disturbing plays. Even 2,000 years later, it remains a classic of revenge genre. Without spoiling it, the quote above comes from the scene in which Atreus is attempting to lure his hated brother, Theistes, into a cruel trap by offering him a tempting and generous gifts. At first, Theistes declines to the complete bafflement of his enemy. We are typically surprised when someone turns down an expensive gift or a position of honor or success. General William T. Sherman emphatically rejected offers to run for president of the United States, saying at one point, I will not accept if nominated and I will not serve if elected. If his friends Ulysses S. Grant had made such a Sherman-esque statement, as such reje rejections are now known, Grant certainly would have persevered, preserved his own legacy from disastrous turn of events it suffered. Despite his initial misgivings, the Estes is ultimately tempted and persuaded to accept fortune's gifts, which turn out to be a ruse hiding devastating tragedy. Not every opportunity is fraught with danger, but the play was intended to remind us that our attraction towards what's new and shiny can lead us into some serious trouble. Food for thought. And with that, please allow your body to stretch and move as it may, as you invite movement back into your body. Take a deep inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, rolling to your right side. Gently cradle your head and your arms here for just a moment as we sit for a breath. And if it's possible, keep your eyes closed as you find yourself coming into seated. Inhale your hands up overhead. Exhale, bringing your hands down into prayer pose in front of you. In front of you, as you flutter your eyes open, joining me here. Well, thank you for joining me for Hatha Yoga this evening. And if you enjoyed this class, please come back again next Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or if you'd like to do Hatha Yoga but in a morning setting, come join me here Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. in the Asana Sana Yoga Studio. Thank you very much for joining this evening, and I will send you off by saying, be the light that you wish to see in the world. See the light that you wish to see in the world, because everyone has got a little light under the sun. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.